slave into slavery. Be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. That's amazing. Let's not get on a street corner and harp all day. The white man is going into slavery. Put that to the side. He said, don't worry about that. Intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to come down and destroy America. Most I said, put that to the side. Don't worry about that. You ain't pushing no button on no missile, so don't even worry about that. That's not your job. Your job is to repent, convert, get in this seventh covenant, and get protected. Let's read that again. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 13. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Our focus should be on what? How the righteous shall be saved. How shall the righteous be saved? What must we do? What covenant, what trespass and sin offerings we got to give? How can I be redeemed? The rest of it is going to handle this. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I will give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. Hey, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole like y'all giving us pushing this truth sincerity. So, this is going to be more of a land back of the brothers' videos, you know, brothers see, you know, what happens, you know, these are the end days, these are the end times, so what's going to happen is going to produce false prophets, man. All right, what you see there in your screen are false prophets. How can I prove it? Always prove it through scriptures. All right, we all, all of us brothers do that. All right, okay, so let's get out with the scripture. This is Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33. I'm just gonna come with straight scriptures, man. There's gonna be no argument to it, there's no argument when it comes over the scriptures, okay. So I'm going to pinpoint everything what he said. I'm going to answer it through scriptures, all right? This is Ezekiel 33. Bear with me. Ezekiel 33. Start at the top. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. So aren't we supposed to be watchmen? The watchman supposed to be what? Looking out for danger and warning our people. How we do that? By be out there in the streets, teaching. Okay? If when he see if the sword to come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. What's the trumpet we blown? We blowing prophecy? We blowing, we blowing the danger that's coming to our people, which are the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans who are the Israelites according to the Bible. You got to be out there in the highways and byways. All right, let's get with the next scripture. This is um, Isaiah. Isaiah 62, verse 6. This is going to be a straight um, cut session, okay? With scripture only, no rambling. This is Isaiah 62, 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So, um, we, so we supposed to put that to the side? <laughs> no, we're watchmen, so we don't supposed to be silent. And give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. What's, who's Jerusalem? Those, those are the Israelites, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. All right? They're going to be a praise on the earth, man. But first and foremost, is going to be the elect. Okay? Let's get with the next scripture. This is Matthew 22, verse 9. Okay? Matthew 22, verse 9, and it reads... Go ye therefore into the highways, mind I say it again, highways, let's say it again, highways. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out to the highways and gathered together all as many as they found. 
both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Okay? What you see those guys on those on that table ranting and um and and, and just speaking falsely, okay, don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know, those are the foolish virgins. What 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 reads in Matthew the twenty second chapter. Okay? All right. Our job is to go out there and feed the lambs. Oh, I got we got we got more scriptures on the way. We got more work for you. All right. This is um John. It was about the Give me a sec. Who cares? Yeah. This is John. Let me, let me read Matthew 22 and 9 again. Go ye therefore unto the highways, and in as many as you shall find bid to the marriage. What marriage to what? Marriage to to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. And how we do that? By letting them know who they are. Because according to Ezekiel 37, you're supposed to have that plank with the children of Israel's names on it and let them know who they are. You have to do that in the highways and byways. Okay? And warn the people. All right? Let's get John 21 and 15. John 21 and 15. And it reads, So when they dine, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou, lovest thou me more than these? And he said unto him, Ye, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16. He said unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? He said unto him, Ye, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him a third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahusha said unto him, Feed my sheep. That's what we're supposed to do. Gentlemen, gentlemen of the uh, uh, of the cloth, you know, with the garments on, you're supposed to warn our people and feed our people knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and warning. That's why you're a watchman. That's your job, so to say. Okay, you said that we gotta do our job. Well, we doing it. Okay. All right. Let's go with the next scripture. We got more. <laughs> um. This goes for you guys that's um, teaching falsely, okay? It's just one scripture and it will fix you. This is on Matthew 7, verse 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. So everything what they speak in there <clears throat> is not going according to scripture. That's how, you be, that's how you could tell a false prophet from a true prophet, okay? It's all about the scriptures, man. And basically, and basically they are taken away from the scriptures. All right? And adding on to their own. And you know what's the penalty for that? It's destruction. Okay? Here's the last scripture. This is Isaiah 56. Isaiah 56, verse 10. Okay? And it reads... <clears throat> His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. What it means by mean ignorant? They lack knowledge. Basically, they don't have the oil in them. Okay? And what happens when you don't put... What happens when you don't have no oil? You're dry. All right? And these guys are dried out like California raisins, man. All right? His watch... Isaiah 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark... Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. There you go. And that's that's what that scripture right there fits those guys right there. I don't give a damn who they are. You know what I'm saying? If they're not going with the scripture saying and they're speaking falsely, they're gonna be called out on it, period. With scripture. That's how we do it. Alright? Okay? 
when it says they cannot bark, why? Because why? Because um, you, according to them, you don't supposed to be going out there, out the highways and byways and yelling out the so-called white man's going to captivity. What the scriptures say, he's going to captivity. All right, Revelation thirteen, verse ten, speaks otherwise. He that leadeth captivity shall go in captivity. It can be any plainer than that. All right. Let me read it one more time. It's Isaiah 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. Well, they can't consider themselves watchmen because they're not out there blowing the trumpet. That's number one. All right. They are ignorant. Ignorant means they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge of these scriptures, man. Okay. Everybody's trying to get a payday, and this is what I'm clearly seeing. All right. They are all dumb dogs. They can't speak. All right. They cannot bark. They're not barking at all. All right. Sleeping, lying down, love it to slumber. That's the key thing. All right. So everybody, it behoove, it behoove you to know who the false prophets and the real prophets. The real prophets comes with scriptures and break it down correctly. All right. So, you know, the Lord is just showing the folly of these um, Israelites out here, man. He's separating the real from the fake right now. And then it's happening. Okay? So I just want to give you all, I just want to, you know, edify the brothers and the sisters. All right? Y'all just keep pushing, y'all keep um, believing. Stay faithful unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Period. Okay? So I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Wakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations for the hopefully like I can I push this word. Till then, another video. Shalom.